Okay, are you guys ready for this? So I basically started this thing this year where every single month I make a playlist and I like title the playlist that month and then I add all of the songs that I'm currently interested in into that playlist and that's like my playlist for the month and I've been doing that every month except for I didn't do it January because I got the idea on like the third or fourth day of February but I did it for February, March, April and now May and I'm going to show you guys my May one and I'm excited. Because before this, I was the kind of person, I had two settings when it came to playlists, and that was super duper niche playlist for a very specific mood that I only ever listened to, like, twice, and then a, like, 26 hour long playlist that had every song I ever even mildly enjoyed on it, so. And honestly, that was the one I listened to more. But since doing this, I've been having a lot of fun, and it's kind of gonna be like, I'm excited at the end of the year for it to be like my own personal Spotify wrapped, because I'm gonna get to see like what I was like interested in at what time of the year, like what songs I listened to the most, and like which songs made it from playlist to playlist, like if any songs made it all the way through the year, because I have like repeated some songs, like I put them on multiple playlists. I'm over explaining, I fear, but let's get started on my May playlist. I'm excited. Are you excited? Of course you're excited. Let's get jamming. That was... I didn't need to say that. Anyway. Hozier is my god. Like, genuinely, 100%. And I want to see him live so bad. I think I would genuinely, like ascend into the heavens if I ever saw him live. Like, I think I might disintegrate the moment he opens his angelic little mouth. I... He's never made a bad song. Like, literally ever. And that one is so fucking good. Like, it's so fucking good. Okay? Incredible. Ow! Oh my god, if I had a dollar for every time I hit my elbow in these fucking videos, but so good, classic, fantastic, I love Mac Miller with every fiber of my being, just every fiber of my being, so good, so good. Just remember two seconds ago when I said I love Mac Miller? I love Mac Miller. Just, if you can't tell, there's gonna be more. There's gonna be more. Can you blame me? No. No, you cannot. I am very much a I will listen to anything kind of person. Like, I listen to all genres, and I know it like, sounds like, like such a pick-me thing to say. I mean this in the least pick-me way possible. That I can listen to just about anything and enjoy it. I just love music. And I don't want to, like, count out any genre because, like, there's so much music in the world and there's got to be at least one song of every genre that I enjoy, you know? Like, there's got to be at least one. So I will listen to any genre and I very much enjoy pretty much most music. But then I do have music that I personally enjoy. So I have, like, two kinds of music that I listen to. I have music that I listen to with other people and then I have my music and I feel like these playlists like my monthly playlists are very much me if that makes sense classic absolute classic you can't deny that's a classic that song never, like, fails to make me just feel like the baddest bitch in the world. A man-eater, if you will. Um, actually, that song reminds me I have another playlist that I call Early 2000s Slutcore. And if you guys want me to show you that playlist, I will be more than happy to. Because it is my favorite playlist to get ready to. Because it just makes me, like, it just hypes me up so aggressively. And it's just so good. And that song is also on it. So that's what reminded me. I'm a Me 
that's just it's so good it's so good Zayn is so underrated like obviously he's a very very famous man but I feel like his music his solo music is so underrated like I just it's so especially that album if you haven't listened to that album from start to finish I would highly recommend that you go do it because it's so good like such a talented man unbelievably talented man unbelievably beautiful man as well but wow so talented voice of an angel that song is so good so good i am a big radiohead girly i'm not gonna lie to you there's a lot of radiohead on a lot of these playlists but come on, tell me that wasn't phenomenal. Tell me that wasn't phenomenal. You can't. You can't. Phenomenal. I don't even know how to describe the way that it makes me feel. Like, the vibe. It just... I, a brain fog, but good. Good brain fog. Does that make sense? Like a dream. I guess that would be dream. The other thing about my monthly playlists is that they very much don't stick to a genre or a vibe. Or, like, an emotion. Like, it's very much, they're very much a roller coaster because it's just like a bunch of songs that I'm enjoying at the time, regardless of genre, vibe, emotion. So. Do you have songs where you're like, that would be so fun to perform live? Because that's one of those songs for me. Like, every time I listen to that song, I'm transported onto an imaginary stage. And I'm performing my heart out. I'm, I mean, that's pretty common with people listening to music. But, like, just I just feel like if I got to perform that live, it would be the time of my life. It would be phenomenal. It's just such a good song, like the vibe, the vocals, all of it, so good, so good. Actually, one of my niche playlists, or hyper-specific playlists, is songs that would be fun to perform live. I don't know why that sentence was so hard to get out, but yeah, I have a playlist of like songs that I think would be fun to perform live. What if I just like soft-launched my music career? <laughs> like, I imagine I'm doing one of these playlist videos and I just like make a song and sneak it in there. That would be pretty funny. That wouldn't be funny. I don't know what that was, but I might. Keep stay tuned. I see the thing is, is I'm not like an, like a good singer. Well, I'm not. Okay. I'm not a bad singer, but I'm not a good singer. I'm an average singer. Like I could carry a tune, but I feel like for some genres of music, voices like that work better. And I feel like, like that's, I might do it. Because I don't think, like, I'm not, I wish I could speak. I'm not, like, aiming to make a career out of it, but I think it'd be fun to make music. Like, just for fun. Just, like, as a little side, like, hobby. Like, I think that'd be cool. I feel like more people should just make music not as a career. You know? I don't know. Maybe that would just oversaturate things, I don't know. Incredible, show-stopping, amazing, no notes. Like, that's just, just... Goddamn, you know? Get it? That was supposed to be like a... Because the title of the song is... Okay, we're moving on. That wasn't... You get it. More Mac Miller, it's amazing. Everything he ever did was amazing. Yeah. I get a little bit of reverb on my voice. New family, my sanity. Go down with my cash go up. Rap too much. Yeah. Yup. Yup. Yup.
also absolutely classic. Absolutely has made it from playlist to playlist many a time. Every time I think, mm, maybe I'm over it for a little bit, I'm simply not over it, and I do come back to it. Constantly. And can you blame me? No. One, two. That song feels like ascending. That song feels like moonlight. That song feels like ascending in the moonlight. I, I don't have the words, very, very beautiful, very, very much also good brain fog. Dreamy, dreamy, dreamy music. And if I were to make a hyper specific playlist about songs that feel like you're in a dream, I would add that one. I do have one called Lying on the Kitchen Floor and I feel like that one would be perfect for that as well. See, I just wanna grow into my greatness. self-explanatory. Enough said. I need peace. I do. Beautiful. 10 out of 10. Coffee and TV are two of my favorite things. So yeah, give me coffee and TV. Easily. Easily. I think that might be my favorite Blur song at the moment, currently. So, if you like Blur and you somehow haven't heard Coffee and TV, or if you just like the vibe of that, I would recommend going to listen to it because the whole song is very, very good. I'm deeply, deeply scared of getting a copyright strike for this video, so I'm trying to keep the clip short. I don't know if that'll help. I like watched other people's playlist videos and like watched videos on like YouTube's copyright stuff, and I think. I will be fine, but I also am afraid, just by nature. That song is criminally short. Like, criminally short, and honestly, a lot of Dominic Fike's songs are. Like, sir, if you're going to make amazing music, can you make it longer than, like, a minute and a half? I think it's insane how many of the best songs in the world are, like, less than two minutes long. Like, we need to abolish songs less than two minutes. Because I, I cannot take being, like, so into a song and just having it end. I feel like my soul is being ripped from my chest. We've got to fix this. No more less than two minute songs. Also, I don't have the attention span for songs longer than four minutes. So no more of that either. Nessa is so incredibly talented and I just feel like a lot of her music is so relatable to me personally and I just like her songwriting ability is very good and this just came out literally like a few days ago I'm pretty sure and it's immaculate and I can't stop listening to it and I literally listened to the snippets of it on TikTok before it was even released like a gazillion times. Go listen to American Jesus if you haven't. I think my camera like cuts at like 20 something minutes and I think I like messed up putting it back when I turned it back on. So if this is a weird angle all of a sudden, my bad. Phenomenal. Show stopping. Amazing. I think that that is exactly what I've said every single time a Mac Miller song is played, but it's just how I'm feeling all the time. It's just how I feel about the situation at hand. And you can't disagree with me. If you do, you're wrong. You're entitled to your wrong opinion, but it's wrong. Gotta hydrate. My drink matches my new hair color. I was just about to be like, oh my god, guys, I dyed my hair. But like, I literally 
my last week's video was the vlog of me dyeing my hair, so you know that. God, their voices just sound so beautiful together. Their voices mel meld so well together. Like, just every song they ever did together was a masterpiece. I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> that is such a vibe. That song is such a vibe. I can't. It just Doesn't it just make you want to get jiggy with it? Anyway. That song's phenomenal. I think I found that song. You know those people on TikTok that'll be like, they have the little tiny mics and they'll be like, this is a song that you never would have found, blah, 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 blah. And then they show you like a bunch of songs. I love those videos. I find a good portion of my music that way. But this song was in one of those videos and instantly I was like, chef's kiss. Phenomenal. Adding that to next month's playlist. Um, and I did. And I can't get enough of it. And I think you should go listen to it if you haven't already. I like watched a live stream of him performing that at Coachella and I was like phenomenal just as most of the songs that he creates are um and then the minute that he released it I added it to my playlist it's very good. Go listen to it. Again. If you haven't already. I'm sure most of you probably have. Just like I did directly after Coachella, but 10 out of 10. Can you tell I like Dominic Fike? I just realized it's just like Mac Miller and Dominic Fike Central. Um... No regrets. Can you blame me? No, you can't. I swear not all of my playlists are like this. That's kind of a lie. Most of my monthly playlists have been very Dominic and Mac heavy. But it's just, I, I'm, I'm not sorry. Oh! <laughs> That song changed my brain chemistry the first time that I heard it. I feel like I'm about to cry. I'm not. I just like I'm losing my voice. Um, but that song changed me as a person when I first listened to it when I was 14 years old. And it has been on almost every playlist I've ever made ever since. I, it has been in every monthly playlist so far and I do think it's going to be at least the one song that makes it all the way to the end every single time that song comes on and that's my like you know the songs that come on that you will never skip no matter what mood you're in no matter what the vibe is that's my song that i will never ever skip i feel very passionately about this song i have a lot of different favorite songs but that is probably my favorite song of all time like i'm usually pretty bad at answering like what's your favorite questions because like I forget, like people will be like, oh, who's your favorite artist? And I forget every artist I've ever heard of. Oh, what's your favorite movie? Forget every movie, every movie I've ever watched. But the two questions that I can tend to answer are my favorite color, because it's been the same forever, and favorite song, because this is my favorite song of all time. Unless you ask me like what my favorite song at the moment is, because then I'll get more specific about the time. But like overall, that's the one. When I said I was going to soft launch my music career, the kind of music that I would want to make is a mixture of Big Jet Plane, No Children by the Mountain Goats, and Pop. Which sounds really weird, but I think it'd be fun. Anyway, I'm done talking about that song now, because I could talk about it forever. She do whatever she like. Next don't seem right. So cute, you wanna be like me. Alone
Do I even have to say it? Do I even have to speak words about that one? Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. I can't move on with the dog with no calls. Flipping through stations. I'm out of class. It's outrageous. You really wanna go, baby? No, I can't move on. I can't move on with the dog. Another Dominic Fike song that is criminally short. Criminally short. Under two minutes. It is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <sighs> I like feel refreshed every time I listen to you. No, that sounds ridiculous. Like sometimes I just say things and I'm like, that sounds like something a crazy person would say. Anyway, phenomenal. Feelings. I have a lot. I have a lot of feeling. I have a lot of feelings. I have a lot of feelings. Um, and that song evokes um most of them, if not all. That song. That okay. I said. I know what I said a little while ago when I said that I didn't have the attention span for songs over four minutes. But this is my exception. Okay, everybody. Every rule is an exception. This is my exception because the song is over five minutes long. And I adore every little last itty bitty second of it. I wish it was longer. Maybe not. Wish it was longer. But oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna shut up and move on. Why would you pay for this apartment? You don't belong and you take the shit from all your bosses and all your boyfriends. I guess I get surprised when you let it slide. But it's no business of mine, how you waste your time. How many more on this actually hits you, darling? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely, and that one's over two minutes long, so wonderful. Fantastic, even. I think that was the whole playlist for May. Honestly, I might add more songs to it. I'm not gonna lie, but I think for now that is the whole playlist for May. And like I said, I do have one for February, April, and March, but I didn't think to make videos about it until May. I've made a few videos on TikTok, but not about like what songs are on it or anything, but if you guys would want me to backtrack a little bit and make videos about those playlists, or I could even like do a quick like shortened run through of each playlist in one video, so it could be like February through March all in one video if that works. Um, and I also have other playlists that aren't the monthly playlists, like I said I have the like 2000s slutcore one and then like a few other niche ones. So. If you wanted me to do ones on those, I could totally do that. I did have a lot of fun with this, and I'm really passionate about music, so like making videos about it is fun for me. So if anyone would want to see a quick run through of those this, I could totally do that. I'm totally down. Um, and also, I will link my Spotify account in the description of this video, so you have access to these this. I'm really worried about copyright. Like, if this video doesn't go up, I'm fucked. This video is being posted the day after my birthday. And then my birthday vlog is being posted the next week. So the birthday vlog is going up like a week after my birthday. And then this video is going up the day after, my, the day after my birthday. So yes, when you're seeing this, yesterday was my birthday. That was really confusing for me to say out loud, but yeah, there will be a birthday vlog just a full week after my birthday. Like, why am I out of breath? Oh my god. Do you guys remember that James Charles video? <laughs> Okie dokie, artichokies. Share it now. 
Oh, another thing that I wanted to talk about before the video ends. I just remembered that I wanted to talk about this. This makes it, that may, made it sound like it's going to be a lot more important than it is. It's not very important, but basically I want a better intro because the intro that I have right now is just, was always meant to just be a placeholder until I got like a real good intro. But I don't really know how to go about making an intro. Um, and I also, I want like an intro song, but I don't know how to do that without copyright issues also do you know so if somebody could suggest some things for that that would be super duper awesome i want to invest in like a better editing software because right now i'm just using imovie because it's free um but i do want to invest in a better editing software so if you have suggestions for a better editing software intro song stuff um intros in general that'd be super sick reach out um it'd be really helpful um Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed my playlist and I will see you all next Monday.